And we had some nice solar energy over the weekend, but a few clouds out there now. Oh, it was a nice weekend, really at least nice. after the mornings. The mornings were cold. In fact, I know everyone was busy this weekend. It's a chance you might have missed this uh, news, but this was a big story. 37 degrees was the low temperature at the airport Saturday morning. You know, we talked about the possibility that that all-time record might be threatened, and it was. It was broken. The coldest temperature ever recorded since the airport started taking measurements back during World War II in the month of May. 37 degrees, a new May record. And we believe, uh, best that we can tell, that this may have been the first time in the Austin metro area on record we had freezing temperatures in the month of May. We recorded a 29 degree reading on Big Sandy Creek up near Jonestown. And ironically, it was also on Big Sandy Creek near Elgin, where there was a 31 degree reading recorded by the LCRA early Saturday morning. Uh, best we can tell, that has never happened before. Well, let's take a look out there right now on the radar. It is raining. Well, it's raining up in the cloud. Some of this may be evaporating before it gets to the ground, and it is very light down here in Fayette County, in Bastrop County, moving across Round Rock and Georgetown. Uh, sprinkles, I think, really, more than anything else. Temperatures uh, wonderful out there. Boy, as long as we can keep this going in the month of May, we're going to be in good shape because, as you know, if you've been around very long, summer can start around here in May, but readings in the mid-70s, low and mid-70s this afternoon in the Hill Country are 10 to degrees below average here in the metro area. We're all 73 to 76 degrees right now and off in our eastern counties, even some low 70s, 72 in getting 73 there in Bastrop in Austin from our downtown camera. You can see the darker sky to the north where some of that precipitation is falling from the clouds. 72 in the city at 70 degrees out at ABIA with a cloudy sky. No wind in town. Winds are northeasterly at the airport at 7. Sunset tonight's at 813. Pollen count today not bad. Mold medium at 892. Barely medium in the count on oak at 50. A little pecan and a little grass all down around 25 to 29. Around Texas, cooler than average statewide from the 60s in the panhandle to the 70s along the coast. 77 degrees there in Corpus. It's a weak upper level disturbance that's moving across the state right now. Just generating a little light rain. But the clouds that kept us much cooler than average today. And this may be a sign of things to come. There's an area of low pressure right now spinning off of California that the computer models say will only very slowly creep to the east and southeast, maybe even down into Mexico by the coming weekend. So ahead of it, disturbances that move across Texas can generate a rain shower or thunder shower just about at any time. We don't think so much the next two days, but later in the week when that low gets a little closer, we're going to have a better chance of some rain. In fact, tomorrow behind this disturbance, we're actually expecting more sunshine and it to be a little bit warmer tomorrow and Wednesday. But then we'll have at least a chance, 20 to 30 percent, but it's a chance of rain or maybe thunderstorms Thursday, Friday, and Saturday later in the week. Tonight, the overnight lows, well, not as cold or chilly as it has been, but still below average tonight in the 50s. The highs tomorrow, a little closer to normal in the low to mid 80s. In Austin tonight, 57. Our skies will become partly cloudy tonight. Tomorrow, mostly sunny to partly cloudy with a high of 84 and a south wind. And on the seven-day forecast, 84, 85 or so on uh, Wednesday, there's that chance of rain that enters the forecast Thursday. Friday may be our best chance, but still a chance on Saturday. Temperatures, again, a little closer to average with highs in the low to mid 80s and lows in the 60s.